Uh, hello, this is the second part of uh, chapter 3, Fundamentals of Crystallography. Uh, after finding a vector in hexagonal crystallograph uh, crystal with a given crystallographic direction, now we do vice versa. We are given a vector in hexagonal crystal structure and we are asked to find its crystallographic direction. Uh, first, first we determine coordinates of vector tail, which is uh, point one, x one, x uh, y one, and z one, and uh, vector head, which we call it as point two, x two, y two, and z two, in terms of three axes. Uh, by three axes, I mean uh, a one, a two, and z. Uh, in the second. Uh, step we subtract tail point coordinates from head point coordinates and normalize it by unit cell dimensions which is here a and c along direction z uh, the third step is adjusting to smallest uh, integer value uh, by s smallest integer value we mean that uh, we exclude the value zero and then we find the smallest value among the rest and we multiply it so that the smallest value become unit or become one of course the rest gonna be bigger than one next step now uh, is uh, uh, to enclose these values as you can see here as u prime v prime w w prime and then using this relation we can find the value of u v t and w again uh, for u v t w we adjust it to smallest integers so uh, whichever among u, t and w are smallest we make it 1 and the room then of course excluding 0 and then of course um, the rest is going to be higher than 1 and we add a bracket uh, that has 4 components this one is our HCP crystallographic direction and now let's uh, solve an example we want to find hexagonal crystallographic directions uh, for the green vector as shown here um, regenerating from zero the origin to this point so the first step is to determine the coordinates for vector um, head and tail of course for origin we have um, 0, 0, 0. This is origin. Uh, for this point, if we project this one along A1 axis, of course the value along A1 is going to be 1 unit and uh, or equal to A, the same as these sides. And if we project it along A2, it's going to be the same value as A. So we have this is the value of uh, tail location, head location, so a, a, and of course there is no change along uh, z direction. Next step is we normalize it based on these parameters a and c. Um, a and c are unit cell dimensions, so it gives us 1, 1, 0. And after that, we do um, what we do is to reduce. So here, because uh, if we exclude 0, this value is already 1, so in the reduction we don't see any change. Uh, therefore, these terms are making our u prime, v prime, and, and of course uh, w prime, as you can see here, so we leave it in the bracket. So as I said, the next step is to find the values of uh, u, v, T and W as you can see here if we plug these values of U prime V prime and W prime we have these values for U, U V T and W the next step is reduction so we have these values 1 over 3 1 over 3 uh, minus 2 over 3 and 0 so as I said for reduction we exclude the value of 0 we look at the smallest absolute number which is 1 over 3 we make it 1 how by multiplying uh, it by 3 
So this one going to be 1, this one going to be 1, and this one going to be minus 2 and 0. So we have this 4 value. And then we enclose everything inside this bracket, and this is showing our HTTP cross, uh, crystallographic direction. Uh, the orientation of planes for crystals are represented in a similar manner um, to what we did for crystal directions, what we presented before. Again, the unit cell here is the basis. So the unit cell, as you can see here, and we have three axes, coordinate system, similar to what is presented for general crystal structure. In all crystal structure, crystal systems, sorry, <coughs> except for hexagonal one, the crystallographic planes are specified by three numbers, H, K, L, inside the parentheses. We know these as Miller indices. Sorry. So these are, as an example, called Miller indices for this group of uh, planes. Why do we need Miller indices? Um, later you will see that um, we need to know the indices uh, to be able to address different features and crystal features like uh, grain boundaries and twinnings. Uh, this will be discussed in chapter 9. All parallel plan planes, as you can see here, like this three or this three, they have similar Miller indices and the process is as follows um, first of all if the plane is passing through the origin so something like this it's passing through origin uh, then we have to make it either parallel plane at reasonable distance within unit cell or we have to move origin again or translate origin so that we can establish another unit cell we will work uh, yeah so that we can establish another unit cell uh, we will work on similar example uh, in class okay to find the uh, Miller indices first we have to find where this plane uh, intersect with the axis X Y and Z in terms of A B and C um, of course, if the, planes, um, the plane is parallel to one of the axes, this value will be infinity. After that, we have to find reciprocal. Reciprocals of the values found in step 1. Of course, for parallel case, the reciprocal is going to be 1 over infinity, which is 0. Um, so we will have three reciprocals. These three numbers then um, are changed to the smallest integer value we mean uh, we have to multiply or divide them uh, with the common factor and just remember that uh, do not confuse uh, this with direction that we don't take uh, reciprocals as an example for reduction if we are uh, we end up with these three uh, values for reciprocal 2000 zero, zero, zero. Of course, these values are already zero, and uh, they are all integer values. We are fine, but we are looking for the smallest integer value. So, if we divide all of them by two, these two will remain zero, and this one will be one. Of course, this is the smallest integer value for these uh, three number. But if uh, we have a value like this one, five two zero, of course, if we divide these uh, by two, this gonna stay still one as integer. This will be integer, but this one is no more integer so we we'll leave it as is another example can be similar to this one if we have values of 1 over 3 1 and minus 3 over 4 how we can make it into smallest integer values uh, that's uh, your task uh, to do it in the class uh, you can also find more directions and also examples in the following link uh, let's look at more examples here uh, we want to find the uh, crystallographic planes or the Miller indices for this uh, blue plane shown here in the cubic unit cell. Uh, the first thing is to find the intersection of this plane with X, Y, and Z. Mm, as you can see, it intersects with X at point A or 1, with Y point B or again 1 in terms of B and it's uh, parallel with z-axis which is uh, infinity as you can see here the next step is to find reciprocal of course it will remain, this will remain as 1 1 and this will be 
uh, 0 and then we do reduction of course this value don't need to be changed because we are dealing with the smallest integer value and after that uh, we can enclose them in parentheses and this is the Miller indices for this blue plane uh, now uh, look at this uh, red plane the cubic unit cell as you can see here again we look at the intercepts uh, with uh, X it's uh, intersecting at half with B is parallel uh, with C is parallel so these two gonna be infinity and this is half we do um, reciprocal so this is gonna be 2 0 0 and the next step is reduction of course uh, if we divide these by 2 these two remains integer and this one will um, be reduced to a smaller integer which is 1 and of course now we can close them in parentheses and call it the Miller indices for the current red plane this is another example look at this uh, red plane here and the cubic unit cell and it's intersecting with different axes as you can see here we look at the intersects, uh, intercepts it uh, intersects with x axis at 1 over 2 with y at 1 and with uh, z at uh, 3 over 4 the next step is to do reciprocals this will give us 2 1 and this is going to be 4 over 3 the next step is to do reduction so before going to reduction a look at these three numbers we want to make sure that all numbers are integer this is already integer this is integer and this one is fraction to change this one into an integer the smallest integer which is one we have to multiply everything by three so we just do it so this is going to be six this is going to be three and this is going to be four of course we cannot change this one and we enclose every or all these three number in parentheses and this is the Miller indices for this specific plane and then now the question what will happen if uh, this, uh, this plane or any plane passes through the origin how we can find the Miller indices it can work and uh, this in the class uh, apart from crystallographic finding crystallographic planes uh, remember that in the cubic system planes uh, that have the same indices regardless of order or sign they are equivalent and they belong to the same family we show it as a family of planes as you can see here these uh, different planes actually ha are belong to the same family uh, this is mainly because how atoms are located in uh, different in different planes in these different planes in a crystal are the same so this is how we show it we leave uh, all these indices inside a curly bracket we can have more practice using uh, virtual material science and engineering um, prepared by white so I go to the proper chapter So as you can see we have different ones so I click here I go to chapter chapter 3 I go down click on the virtual material science and engineering click on material crystal and structure and then look for crystallographic planes as you can see we have planes like this one and you can explore in it as you can see here zoom in zoom out and you can play uh, and look at these planes at different angles similar to what you see here for example this one is 201 so on so forth okay. how to find the uh, Miller indices or crystallographic planes in hexagonal unit cell it's uh, presented here and it follows the same procedure uh, as cubic unit cell what we went through it in cubic unit cell and the only difference is that we here deal with four axes instead of three axes in uh, cubic unit cell so here we have a1 a2 
A3 and also Z along uh, C along Z axis. So the first step is to find intercepts with uh, these three axes. As you can see, it intercepts with uh, A1 at 1.1 with A2 is parallel so it's going to be infinity with A3 is actually intersecting at this point which is minus 1 and with C it's uh, actually crossing Z axis at point 1 so we have these intercepts the next step is to do reduction uh, uh, sorry to find reciprocals so we divide them or we, uh, we find them the reciprocal as shown here one gonna be one infinity will be zero minus one the same and one stays the same the next step is uh, to do reduction as you can see all of these are these numbers are in the are in integer form and they cannot be smaller than this one so uh, we leave it as is for the reduction part and the last part is enclosing these numbers in parentheses and changing negative sign to a bar sign. So this is the Miller indices for this blue plane in HCP uh, crystal. In this example we are asked to find uh, or to draw these uh, two different planes. So now based on what we went through we can easily draw these planes. Later you will see that uh, by knowing how many atoms in each of these planes we can find the value of plan or density of these ones uh, this will be uh, discussed in the next chapter okay in summary as we discussed uh, we found when atoms are solidify uh, solidifying they may assemble into crystalline or amorphous structure uh, crystallographic points directions and planes are um, specified in terms of indexing schemes so we talked about it and learned about it uh, crystallographic directions and planes are related to atomic linear densities and planar density this will be discussed more in the next uh, chapter and we also learned that materials can be single crystal or poly, uh, uh, polycrystalline uh, materials proper, uh, properties generally vary with single crystal orientation but um, are generally non-directional uh, in polycrystals in polycrystals they are non-directional with randomly uh, oriented uh, grains a very good uh, presentation of how atoms are solidifying and then they make a polycrystalline um, was uh, created by uh, Bader al Ramadan. Uh, I posted the video here. You can uh, look at the video using this link and I will upload it to the model. Uh, thank you.